A plastic surgeon in the Dominican Republic accused of botching surgery so bad, some women are not making it out. Hernández, quien vive en Estados Unidos, le dijeron que era conveniente venir al país a realizarse una cirugía plástica por el bajo costo. Pero esta nunca pensó que le saldría más cara la sal que el chivo, como decimos aquí en Dominicana. Dominican Republic ranks number one country in terms of medical tourism in the Caribbean and number two country in terms of medical tourism in Latin America as a whole. Actually, worldwide, we are number 19. So we are up there in a worldwide stage for medical tourists. In 2022, according to Dominican Today, we received 338,000 medical tourists over here. So it is a big deal over here in the country. So I wanna talk about if it's actually safe to come to Dominican Republic to get your surgeries and dental work done. It's important to begin this video by telling you that I am not a doctor or a medical healthcare expert. I am a Dominican person that lives in the Dominican Republic, so I know a little bit about the country and I did my research. I'm just giving you the information from healthcare experts themselves so that you can get all the information you need to make up your mind regarding the safety and the dangers of getting plastic surgery in the Dominican Republic. In this video, we're going to cover it all. We're going to go through the costs of getting plastic surgery in the Dominican Republic. We're going to talk about some horror stories and bad things that have happened while some tourists have gotten surgeries over. And overall, is it safe to come to the Dominican Republic to get plastic surgery done? Also, any healthcare expert that I feature in this video, I am not affiliated to, nor am I recommending any of their services if you happen to find them online. These are just doctors, which I am not, that they did give out some important critical information on uh, different platforms and different interviews. So I'm giving you that information relayed by them as they are doctors in this field. As I was researching for this video, I found that right about 2019, right before the pandemic, there were a lot of reports on different types of media outlets regarding plastic surgeries in the Dominican Republic and how they advised against them and whatnot. So I'm going to play you some of the clips of the bad things that can happen if you come to the DR to get plastic surgery. Black women are going under the knife and paying the ultimate price. I literally couldn't. A plastic surgeon in the Dominican Republic Used of botching surgery so bad, some women are not making it out by burns from the Vaser liposuction procedure. She was immediately transferred to a burn center in Augusta. When it's no more fat, it starts burning your skin cells, so it started burning my skin. Hernández, quien vive en Estados Unidos, le dijeron que era conveniente venir al país a realizarse una cirugía plástica por el bajo costo, pero esta nunca pensó que le saldría más cara. La sal que el chivo, como decimos aquí en Dominicana. No me quitan eso ahí cuando yo veo este, que tenía eh, algo no estaba bien ahí, en el, en el área de la operación. La piel de la parte baja del abdomen se había tornado de un color morado oscuro. También tenía quemaduras del lado izquierdo de la cadera. Specifically plastic surgery in the Dominican Republic, there have been several there just in the last month. Let me talk first about Manuel Nunez. Uh, in mid-June, he died. Apparently, it was involving respiratory distress. Uh, he was getting a liposuction at a clinic in Santo Domingo. A school teacher from Alabama, 45 years old, her name, Alicia Williams. She had a 14-year-old son, and she too was undergoing elective plastic surgery in the Dominican Republic. She developed blood clots. Another woman with a 14-year-old son came from New York City, the New York City area, New Rochelle. Her name, Alexandra Medina. We just did a story about her uh, shortly after July 4th. That's when she had checked in to have a tummy tuck. She had saved a long time to have the procedure. As I mentioned, she too had a 14-year-old son and apparently she developed a pulmonary embolism problem and she died. Of course, surgeries are risky no matter what country you have them in. So this type of thing can happen not only in the Dominican Republic, they can happen in Colombia, they can happen in Brazil, in Korea, and in the United States, and Europe, and anywhere else. 
by Giovanka Fernandez is writing, yes, please stop talking about Dominican Republic. My daughter almost died in Miami, which is in the United States, after plastic surgery. We have plastic surgery in DR and there were no complications with us. My daughter traveled to Miami and she almost died. So, you know, we have to certainly point out that it can happen anywhere. Fault lines travel to Miami, the plastic surgery capital of the U.S., to investigate what's behind a rise in injuries and deaths related to Brazilian butt lifts. Our reporting uncovered a pattern of high volume surgical centers that appear to be putting profits ahead of patient safety. In my opinion, it's very important to have your research done before you do anything regarding your body. So it's important to check if the doctor is board certified in the country that they're operating in. It's important to even check the recovery home because right here in the Dominican Republic, it is very important that the recovery home itself has its permit from the Ministry of Health. República Dominicana se ha convertido en uno de los paraísos para realizarse cirugías estéticas. Sin embargo, lo que preocupa es la proliferación de casas de recuperación sin el aval de las autoridades de salud pública. There have been some illegal instances of recovery homes just like randomly on Airbnb. So don't just randomly find a recovery home on Airbnb. Just make sure that you get them uh, finally selected through the Ministry of Health and that they have their permits in place. What are those key questions that everybody should have in the back of their mind if they are interested um, in a procedure, a mommy makeover or the popular BBL? So if you're going abroad, you know, is the doctor board certified, right? So that's one thing. So let's say the doctor's board certified. Um, what are the safeguards to protect my life? Like, what do you have set up to protect my life? And they will tell you, well, you know, we have, you know, everyone's trained to the highest standard. Um, they probably need to talk about, you know, do you have a life flight available? Do you have a hospital on the island that, you know, receives your patients when they're having problems? I also find that it is a red flag if your doctor agrees to have a whole bunch of procedures done at once. I know that if you're trying to plan a trip abroad to have surgery done, you wanna do it all in one trip, but that is not really that safe. I mean, how much can the body actually support, you know? So if a doctor is willing to give you like all the plastic surgeries all at once, I would see that as a red flag, like they're trying to just like take your money and such, and they're not really trying to guard your health. It's a lack of scrupulous. And this is prescribed, because submitting a patient to such a procedure in one day, so the books say that you expose to that first the patient enters into a complication immediate, which is the And if he's alive from that, then he could understand when it comes to prices obviously doctors hate giving out prices out loud just to like the masses because prices can vary from patient to patient especially regarding plastic surgery and it also depends on the procedure that you want to get done or the combo of procedures that you want to get done but i did find this one doctor that one year ago published some of the prices that she charges or that you can come by when you are talking about plastic surgery in the Dominican Republic. So listen to this clip of her speaking about the different procedures and the prices that you can come across. Dentro de las cirugías plásticas que más se busca que es las cirugías de contorno corporal, llamadas cirugías como la liposucción o la laser lipólisis o la lipobaser. Esta cirugía tiene una cotización aproximada de unos tres mil dólares. Una abdominoplastia aproximadamente anda de unos cuatro mil dólares. Ella sea levantamiento de seno, reducción de seno, no. Sin implante anda en una cotización aproximadamente de unos tres mil dólares. Cuando le agregamos unos implanticos, pues ya aumenta un poquito más la cotización y puede salir en unos cuatro mil o tres mil quinientos dólares. Guys, take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with anyone you know that might be interested in this topic. But enough of the bad news, let's get to the good. The Dominican Republic is actually a great spot for medical tourism because we do have wonderful, extremely awesome doctors over here. There are actually places here that are top of the line when it comes to technology, infrastructure, 
healthcare protocols and all of that. La medicina de aquí es excelente. Excelente en todos los aspectos. Nosotros somos más humanos. Nosotros los pacientes no son un número. Los pacientes son una persona. O sea, nosotros tenemos ese algo y esa empatía que no tienen en otros países. Lo segundo, aquí tenemos toda la tecnología y estamos a la vanguardia. Los cuerpos que se hacen en República Dominicana yo creo que no se hacen en ningún otro lado. O sea, lado. que ya Colombia y Venezuela y eso Excelentes, que excelentes en turismo médico, pero nosotros somos un, un número uno en el Caribe. Nuestro país eh, además eh, se encuentra a la tecnología y la vanguardia a nivel mundial y nuestras prácticas en plástica, cirugía bariátrica, odontología, son ejercicios de profesionales formados en el exterior, en su mayoría, eh, que pertenecen a las sociedades internacionales y nuestro personal está totalmente capacitado. So as much as there are bad stories and those are the ones that mostly get like the press and the media attention, a lot of people come here for medical help and medical tourism and they get their plastic surgeries done and everything is A-OK. -okay. So even if you see in the media that there are, you know, bad stories and bad things going on, most of the tourists that come here for medical help actually get great results. So don't think that just because you see one story in the media or in the news that Dominican Republic is crossed off and we are a horrible country to do medical tourism because there is a reason why we are number one in the Caribbean and number two in Latin America as a whole. Tengo aproximadamente cuatro meses de mi cirugía. Me ha ido bastante bien. Es un doctor confiado. Me hice una abdominoplastia eh, con un levantamiento de glúteo y estoy muñeca, muñeca. Tengo 15 días de operada, mi evolución ha sido excelente y se lo recomiendo porque creo que es el mejor. What I don't appreciate is when people see one bad story, one bad testimony, and all of a sudden Dominican Republic is therefore forbidden or it's like a horrible place to come. That is definitely not true. How about you don't go to the Dominican Republic? It's not like it matters. Like stop, it's not a good place to go for surgery. It's just not, it's not, a, it's not safe. So is the Dominican Republic safe overall to come for surgery? Well, the first thing you gotta know is that surgery is risky anywhere in the world that you go. So there are risks to doing a surgery even if you stay in your hometown in the United States, even if you stay in you know, the top of the line place over there in Europe, or if you come to Latin America to any country, there are risks involved with having surgery. But Dominican Republic can be as safe as a place as anywhere else. You just got to do your research, make sure that your doctor is board certified, make sure they have all the technology and all the protocols in place. And they are not just trying to take your money or having, you know, um, cutting corners through their cheap prices or anything like that. And do all the research, get all the information you can to make the best decision for you. In some of those videos on the horror stories regarding some of those doctors, they portray the doctor as if they had done some malpractice. But in the actual comments of the videos, there were people saying, well, I got great results with that doctor. They followed all the protocols and I had great results. So take everything you see in the media with a grain of salt and know that that is not 100% of people that have that bad experience and they can have bad experiences with a surgery by a multitude of factors including the way their body responds to things and a multitude of other things regarding like their health history, all of that stuff, not necessarily having to be uh, the doctor's hands or the doctor's abilities or the doctor's skills. I would love to know what your view is on all this. Would you get plastic surgery in another country that's not your own? What do you think about these horror stories about things that have happened in the Dominican Republic? Well guys, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is me, Ellie, signing out, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.